Welcome Overlanders and Overglampers. Today we are sharing our first trail review. Located near Mount Hood, Oregon, McGee Creek Overlook is a picturesque destination that offers epic views of the surrounding wilderness of Mount Hood itself. Our goal is to road test the vehicle on some light terrain and see what adjustments need to be made to our vehicle or our camping supplies. The campsite is pretty easy to reach from Lolo Pass Road. It is roughly 13 miles from Zigzag Ranger Station in Mount Hood Village. Mount Hood, often referred to as the crown jewel of Oregon, is an iconic stratovolcano located in the Cascade Range. It's the highest peak in Oregon, standing at 11,239 feet above sea level. Mount Hood's prominence and striking symmetrical appearance have made it one of the most recognizable and cherished landmarks of this region. The Overlook offers breathtaking views of that surrounding landscape, including a panoramic vista of Mount Hood itself, a lush forest, and the serene McGee Creek. It's a popular destination for hikers looking to hike around Mount Hood. McGee Creek Trail is a pretty rough trail, 15.3 miles out and back, that's right nearby this campsite. It usually takes eight to ten hours to complete this trail uh, and you backpack up closer to Mount Hood. We found this campsite and trail to get to the campsite on Onyx Off-Road. It's rated a 3 out of 10 on Onyx, which indicates that it's moderately challenging route, making it accessible to most overlanding vehicles with basic off-road capabilities such as clearance uh, and 4x4. The journey to the main campsite involves traversing rough terrain including dirt roads, rocky patches, and some steep inclines. I noticed the inclines were probably around 35 to 50 degrees at the very beginning of the trail. It added an extra layer of excitement for me, uh, being the first trail that we're doing a review on with this new vehicle. As you can see from the picture at the bottom of the hill, it's steep, it's pretty rutted out, and there's some uh, man or some natural uh, drainage channels going down the sides and, and center a little bit of the trail. It's no issue for the Tundra. I would definitely, like I said, recommend a vehicle with clearance and a 4x4, just in case if you get sucked into one of those uh, channels that water's been flowing down. A user on Onyx recommended airing down. I didn't think that was necessary given the current conditions. However, I did utilize four low just to crawl up that uh, hill slowly. The jaunt up the very beginning of the trail is pretty short. Um, and then once you enter the uh, turn to the right a little bit, the end is pretty flat, um, but it is somewhat tight. Um, against the bushes so you could you could scrape up against those as expected on any trail. Once you reach the main campsite you'll be rewarded with those epic views and sense of seclusion and tranquility. Being away from more accessible camping areas means that you can enjoy a quieter and more intimate camping experience surrounded by nature. Set up your campsite, build a cozy campfire, if permitted, it was not at this time of year, unfortunately, and relish in the beauty of the starry night sky away from the city lights. Overall, overlanding up the hill to the main campsite of McGee Creek Overlook adds a great, exciting dimension to your camping experience uh, while being an easy trail. I would definitely recommend it for those looking to get away from, you know, regular campsites and campgrounds, and even some of the uh, dispersed camping options that allow for people to be a little bit closer to you. 
I think you'll find that uh, less people are going to go up this trail. Uh, I would say at the end of the trail, you could probably fit three rigs comfortably if you really wanted to. Um, you could probably pack in four or five um, if you spread them out the right way. Um, but I, I wouldn't really recommend more than three. And like I said, if, um, if you're working while overlanding, I would call this uh, campsite uh, Starlink approved. And um, you can definitely do that way there. Definitely would recommend this one for those getting looking to get out there and get a light overlanding journey um, rather than a longer one. Thank you, overlanders and overglampers. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the trails.